Hey guys, what's up? Mike McDonald here, just coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. In today's video, I want to talk about the topic of how to approach warm market, even if you've messed up the first time. So one, there's the warm market that maybe you haven't even talked to. Maybe you've never even attempted to. They've been on your chicken list and you haven't talked to them at all yet. Uh, there might be other ones where you are brand new in your business and you're super excited, but you didn't really know what to say and you said too much. You tried to explain things. You tried to sell them on stuff right off the bat and it just didn't work out and they never saw your business. And then there might be other people that you've been uh, approached or you sent a message to or you tried to have them see your business, but for whatever reason, maybe they never responded to you, maybe they blew you off, maybe they're gonna come see it but never did, uh, or maybe they're interested but things just didn't work out at the time. So there's kind of these different areas that people can fall into. So um, one approach for people that maybe you've screwed up the, the invite with, you know, you've said too much, you said the wrong thing, you know, obviously wait a little bit to reapproach them again. But uh, a lot of times, maybe it's been a few months, six months, a year, whatnot, since you've re approached these people about your business. So uh, first thing off the bat with these people, you want to apologize. Say, hey, you know, I was brand new when I started. You know, things have been going great so far. I'm still excited about everything. And, you know, I tried to approach you earlier about it. And honestly, you know, I was brand new. I totally screwed up. I said all the wrong stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. You know, again, it's probably not something you're going to be into based on our feedback and our conversation so far, but you, you know, just do me a favor. I'd really appreciate it if at least you could see what it is you're saying no to. Like I said, it's probably not going to be something that would be a fit for you, but I'd at least want you to see it so you know what you're saying no to. You know, leave your checkbook at home, leave your money at home. You know, I, I don't want you to join. I don't want you to get started. I don't want you to take action today, but I at least want you to see what you're saying no to because you might know someone that could be a better fit you know somebody that else that that i might not know that could be perfect for this so you know would you at least do me a favor you know it's an hour of your time i'll buy you dinner you know I'll buy you a beer afterwards whatever you know just promise me you'll take a look so we can actually sit down and then if it's for you great if not totally great too like i said we can just move forward with this and just you know, resume how we were before, no big deal. So that's one approach you can use, you know, leading with the apology, saying you screwed up, you messed up, but you know, it's probably already not for them, but just let them see it for what it really is. So that's one way. Now there's other people where maybe you just, like I said, you haven't talked to them for a while, you're nervous to approach them, you're not really sure what to say. Well, with these groups, basically what you can do is, you know, hey, you know, Sam, I know we haven't talked for a long time. Uh, or I know we haven't talked since we used to work together. I know we haven't talked since high school or, you know, since we worked out at the gym together or, you know, whatever the case is, insert your relationship that you have with this person. And you could say, you know, I always remember you had, you know, a great attitude back then, or I always remember you were one of the coolest kids on the, the soccer team, or I always remember you were always one of the more fun people to work with when we used to work together, or I always remember you were one of the sharper people we used to work with so whatever the case is you know give them a genuine compliment of how you used to relate to them how you knew them in the past you know so i know yet yeah, we haven't talked for a while but i always remember you had such a great attitude back when we did work together and you know honestly I have no idea what you're up to these days. Uh, I don't know how things are going, but you know, I had uh, approached you for um, basically a few years back about the expansion my company was going through, and you know, I don't know what you're up to these days. But maybe you'd missed the message. Maybe you were happy with what you had going on at the time. But we're going through another surge of growth right now, and I stumbled across our old conversation, and I always remember how great it was hanging out back in the day, so I figured I'd at least take a chance and reach out to you. You know, I was just curious, would you at all be open at this point to, to something extra if it didn't interfere with what you have going on these days? You know, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to hear from you. All right, I appreciate your feedback either way, or let me know, you know, something to that effect. Now, again your job is just to get a definite yes or no you know we don't want to have people just kind of hanging out there that have never seen your presentation never seen what's going on again if you can have people see your business for what it really is and then get a definite yes or no that's all it is that you're looking for you're not in the convincing business you're not trying to twist their arms to join your business you just want to have them see it for what it really is because there's going to be people where a no just means not now they see it the timing's not right for them but they definitely have you in the back of their mind and as you're going out there you're building your business 
they can reach out to you again down the road and be like, hey, you know, how's business going? I want to check this out. Let's see what how it happens. So again, there's a lot of people that will reach out to you down the road. Another thing is if you don't approach them, someone else in your business, maybe not necessarily in your team, but in your business might reach out to them because they have the courage to do so. And that person gets started and they go out and hit a home run. Well, it's kind of crappy for you because you could have just as easily introduced that person and let's say you did and or you didn't and your friend does they go out and make millions of dollars in the industry they become a top earner they could have been in your business you know that could have changed your life financially changed your your goals for the future could have helped you achieve what you really want in life but you were too scared to approach them about it so again don't let that happen to you be the one that approaches them go back and follow up with these people. And um, again, that's another way that you can do it. So there's, again, the, the warm market that you haven't talked to for a while, you haven't heard from, that's a great approach to go back with them. Um, because again, a lot of times I've, I've gone back with this approach and I've had people that never really responded for my earlier invites where I was trying to have them look at what I do. But when I followed up with that invite, uh, they jumped on, they either said, hey, I'm not looking right now, things are going great. Or they were like, yeah, I'd be open, you know, let's hear about it. So it's another great way that you can approach more market. So if you haven't either talked to them for a while, they haven't responded, or again, follow up with that apology method if you've screwed it up to begin with. So again, you know, hopefully you guys got value out of this video. Uh, if you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you're watching here on Periscope, feel free to tap the screen, you know, throw out some hearts if you got some value. And um, also, if you really want to take your business further, be sure to head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com forward slash inviting and you can get my free training it's the just enter your name and email it's my 14 proven keys to inviting for your network marketing business so again there'll be warm market cold market people you haven't talked to in a while people that are your best friends right now all kinds of different proven ways that work to invite people to have them check out your business and see it for what it really is versus you trying to convince them and swindle them into seeing what you have going on you know you want people to see your business the right way um, because again a lot of times the close begins with the invite and if you're having them see it the right way you're gonna have a lot more people that want to work with you and get started so again appreciate everybody's time we'll look forward to talking to you again soon